Well, a tube. Today we got the Painted Word by Tom Wolf. Getting a little back to basics. What I, I set out to do on my channel is talk about books of like the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Hint, book Nick, play on Beat Nick. Uh, so yeah, I was in a little bit of reading slump. I wanted something that I thought was going to be good and quick, and this um, did not disappoint. Thomas Kennerly Wolf Jr., born March 2nd, 1930, died May 14th, 2018. He started off as a newspaper newspaper journalist in the 50s. Kind of got big after his um, his big claim to fame. Do I have it really close? Um, I should right here with his book Electric Kool Aid Acid Test about Ken Kesey and his band of merry pranksters um i should reread this new video on this one i really should i really need to this is a great book we're not talking about that we're talking about this this book um published in 1975 and this was tommy knew he was getting himself into some some drama with this one um but I, I don't think he could help himself. It's basically um, not so much making fun of the artists of the time, but more of the critics. Um, and the reviews of this book kind of kind of showed that uh, the people inside the art scene of the of the seventies uh, totally hated him for this book. Um, basically tried to tried to ruin him. Didn't really succeed. Um, he went on to write a lot of monstrous books. Had a really long career. Um, but the people outside of the art scene was kind of like, I get it. You know, I get what he's saying. He's not wrong. You, you art people are are crazy. Um, and there, I have a I have a paragraph here that I have marked that I thought I would read to kind of summarize the uh, how he felt. This is a long paragraph, so bear with me here. In fact, the press was so attentive that Harold Rosenberg, a, as well as Pollock, wondered why so little abstract expressionism was being bought. Considering the degree to which it is publicized and feted, Rosenberg said vanguard painting is hardly bought at all. Here Rosenberg was merely betraying the art world's blindness towards its own strategies. He seemed to believe that there was an art public in the same sense that there was a reading public and that, consequently, there should be some sort of public demand for the latest art objects. He was doing the usual, in other words. First, you do everything possible to make sure your world is anti borgo that it defies Borgo. I'm pronouncing that word wrong, I know. Bourgeois. I think it's bourgeois. Uh, taste. Bougie taste. There we go. We'll just say bougie. We'll, we'll 21st century it. That it mystifies the mob, the public, that it out distances the sensible middle-class multitudes by light years of subtlety and intellect, and then, having succeeded admirably, you asked with a sense of see-what-I-mean outrage, look, they don't even buy our products, usually to refer, refer to as quality art. Quality art is in quotes. The art world had been successfully restricted to about 10,000 solds worldwide, the Beau Mons of the few metropolises. Of these, perhaps 2,000 were collectors, and probably no more than 300 worldwide bought current work, this year's, last year's, the years before, with any regular regularity, re, regularity. Of these, perhaps 90 lived in the United States. So yeah, it kind of reminds me of politicians can we go there for a second where you know the whole the squeaky wheel gets the grease so you have your 
far left your um your electric car buying save the planet um death to fossil fuels uh side and then on the far right you have your um your pro machine gun your pro whatever i don't know. you understand what i mean you're pro like you're you're all the way to the left and all the way to the right and but the problem is is that 99 percent of the population lives right here you know or, or a good majority anyway lives right here where a mixture of all of these you know would uh, be the more populous idea, you know, and uh, <laughs> but yet the politicians have to swing way left or way right to try to appease the to appease, you know, their their uh, their 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 squeaky wheels, and then leave the vast majority of people that um, are very centered just leaving them to rot to death because bread is now four dollars a loaf five dollar milk five dollar gasoline uh you know three hundred dollar um you know heat bills doubling and um everything else but you know, right, you know, when Trump was in office, everyone on the super far right was happy, living it up. Now with Biden doing what Biden does, the left is, the way far left is happy and living it up. And then the vast majority of people here in the center, the people that are actually on screen right now, not the people over here, the people over here that you can't see, the people right here. We're the ones that have to pay the price. You know, the same thing with the art scene. You know, the you know when that is a work of art, and um, and if you don't like it, you you just don't know art. That I mean, how many people do you know would have that hanging in their in their if if they, even if they could afford it. How many people would have that hanging in their, their living room? Not a lot of people. You know? Do they show like a, you know, that. that That's supposed to be super clever and classy. Not. Um, whereas, you know, they don't really show anything else. But, you know, like, uh, I, I'm, no, I don't know my art terms, but like the super realistic, you know, like the Rembrandts and stuff like that. Okay, I can see somebody having something like that hanging in there. Something that depicts, you know, whatever, whatever they're into. Super realistic. That's probably going to hang in their, in their living room. But um, you're not going to make the art critics happy by painting to the masses. You have to paint, you know, that and then wonder why you're starving to death. <laughs> but, you know, all the, all the ones I just, you know, made fun of, they're probably worth hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars and probably um but of course the artist didn't see it you know any of that back in the day but yeah so the painted word by tom wolf honestly um you know if you're super into art take a look at it you know see what you think you know, if you agree with him disagree with him whatever if you're not into art it's still kind of funny to you know laugh at these people who um you know these bougie people that you know that want to um make the the 25 art critics that are super bougie and with their nose so stuck up in the air that whatever um make them happy instead of actually selling stuff that they could actually you know put food on the table or you know pay the light bill or or things like that so have you read this one did you like it did you not like it 
Am I way off? Am I right, way right? Let me know down below. Uh, that's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.